Hi, this is Shadi and today I'm gonna be discussing with you if I had to make Aikido work, how would I make it work according to my own experience and to my own training. Now, I've left Aikido specifically because I wanted to spar, I wanted to do something that works and also I watched a lot of martial arts journey, Rokas, how he switched to MMA and BJJ and he started talking about pressure testing and all that stuff so but prior to that I don't know if any of you know this but Roka spent a, a considerable amount of time trying to make Aikido work um, trying to put traditional techniques like the Irimi Nage, Kotegeshi etc to the test and under pressure testing in order to make them work and he came to the conclusion that it just doesn't work he had this interview with Roy Dean and uh, a lot of them tried to make Aikido work they added into uh, BJJ curriculum and they added into uh, police work and grappling and wrestling um, so today I'm gonna talk to you first of all we're gonna see why a martial art doesn't work and two what are the criterias of these so-called good arts that we consider that works today uh, jiu-jitsu uh, judo and wrestling why they work see what they have as a common denominator and try to apply it to aikido and see whether or not it can work um, i'm not gonna say i'm gonna add it to an art or something i'm gonna try to keep it as aikido as possible and try to make it work so i've been thinking about this for quite some time but did not share it uh, because you know a lot of people try to do it and also I'm not the expert however I do find that my background of martial arts that I trained are different than those who try to make it work so today I'm gonna try to pitch in my how do you say two cents and see uh, maybe it's something not so much original but different from all the other attempts to make Aikido work so here it is so first, let's try to understand why Aikido doesn't work. First of all, we all say this, the lack of pressure testing and the lack of sparring. And I would agree 100%. This is the main reason why it doesn't work because applying a technique in drills is far more different and far more difficult when applying it during sparring. During sparring you apply your own taste to it, you apply your own strategy in order to make it work, uh, you apply uh, your version of the technique. That's why it's called a martial art and not a martial science because everyone can do the same technique but everyone has a different expression of that technique and everyone has a different strategy, faint to that technique. So the number one reason it doesn't work it's because um, it doesn't there's no pressure testing there's no sparring and that will you know set it back uh, significantly now but but however I do want to say this the techniques that are present in Aikido I um, I was on the receiving end for years and years and years and years and they do mostly work they hurt however the methodology of technique or the methodology of training as Rodin puts it it really sets Aikido back and I agree so for example he tried to apply uh, Kotegeshi into rolling and the Iriminage you fall down into various side controls or uh, like an arm triangle all that stuff but again I'm gonna try to keep Aikido Aikido in this video and try to discuss how it can be worked through my own experiences so the second thing is why it doesn't work is that um, there is the quote-unquote good uke what do I mean by that so someone launches in uh, at you and they cooperate they spin they create that harmony with you they give you you give them and then you apply a beautiful technique and there you go you are second done you are third done uh, you have your black belt or whatever uh, I know a lot of people say that okay it doesn't work we know what it is let's go for the stuff that works but I find the repertoire of techniques incredibly uh, interesting and incredibly useful when uh, surely applied and 
also it can uh, save your life if applied correctly uh, and Nikio will put down any big man on his knees I tried every technique there is and trust me they do work and that's why they're in the Goshin Jutsu no Kata in Judo in for the police so uh, there is some usefulness to them uh, we can make it like a minimalist Judo uh, let's begin so if I want to make it work let's i'm gonna take the common denominator between all these grappling arts like jiu-jitsu wrestling and judo and try to apply it to aikido what is it first of all aikido is a grappling art so from full contact it is far better to apply say the wrist twist or uh, like a wrist lock on the clavicle bone the nikyo or the ikyo or whatever or the kaitenage all these beautiful techniques it is better to apply them from a, a full-on contact as such as someone grabbing your wrist someone's grabbing your collar and uh, and sleeve all that stuff so in aikido you have these striking motions that are greatly exaggerated that just does don't exist i know that they teach you in order to understand the motion or the energy uh, direction of it but a jab is far different than the tsuki found in aikido and like the temple strike you, you do in judo i showed it yesterday is far different than the yoko menuchi this big like uh, haymaker of uh, of motions they just do not exist especially someone who is experienced in fighting so how to make it work first of all i would eliminate the idea that Aikido can be worked from a, like a direct strike and I take it and I do the wrist twist first of all I would get rid of the idea that that can work because you can you will not and cannot catch a flying jab to your face and do like an exceptional wrist twist and they go off flying that's just not gonna happen the best you can do against a jab is first of all hold your hands up high keep distance and in case they really launch that I'm sorry if they really launched at you you can move to the side that's the best thing you can do so first of all make it a purely contact grappling art like judo and wrestling and jujitsu second you need to apply a system in order to get you to your technique kind of like uh, in BJJ the, you have the guard you have uh, the side control the north south all these position that get you to your technique also that in Aikido doesn't exist someone grabs your wrist you spin around uh, they keep holding your wrist they follow you and then they watch you apply the technique and that again does not work uh, what I found the incredibly destabilizing and also the, it leaves someone's limbs wide open and unprotected is simply judo skumikata the grip fighting in judo collar and sleeve double collar uh, moving around twisting l making someone lose their posture lose their balance and all they can think about is just straightening up that posture and this is where and they try to reach their arms and try to grab you as well but this is where your chance will present itself so, say i'm doing grip fighting with someone very similar to kumikata i'm grabbing the sleeve and the lapel and i'm just jerking them around and they are on the tip of their toes once they are on the tip of their toes it doesn't matter how big they are or how strong they are it's similar to the uh, tomoe nage when you go down on the ground and you lift someone with your legs once their legs lose touch with the ground it's very easy to just steer them in any direction and then throw them no matter the size uh, i speak from personal experience when i say yoko tomoenage it has worked a lot for me and similar kumikata is the same thing where you just jerk someone around and once they are defenseless they don't have a posture anymore uh, their limbs are all extended trying to reach you and trying to basically try to just stay still and standing this is where you grab the wrist you twist it this is where you take the elbow and the wrist and do the ikyo or the nikyo or the sankyo or the kaitenage the iriminage basically you have to destabilize someone and make them break their posture believe it or not when you shoot for a double their first reaction is to just hunch down and bend their knees and lift uh, like be 
on the tip of their toes it is the same thing uh, kuzushi when you lift someone with their sleeve and the lapel and they are on the tip of their toes same thing if you make aikido into this small contact art with a basis of how do you say the basis of to get to these techniques is similar to judo the kumikata and I, w I would say you would make a very successful art now when it comes to neiwaza uh, I don't know but you have suariwaza where you fight where you are on your knees you are just moving your hips it is the same thing uh, so that could be your neiwaza if you want because when we start in judo and jiu-jitsu um, in neiwaza we start on our knees and then someone either tries to get top or someone pulls guard and that's how the rolling starts so in short i would simply add a foundation in which it primes me and puts me in an advantageous position in order to apply this technique in a way that they are completely defenseless and they are helpless and they are managing to to keep balance and that is the kumikata in my opinion because it is standing and it is standing grappling with a gi so in my in my opinion this is the best way to make it work at least in the stuff that i learn i'm i'm showing you my way of making it work maybe some boxer or some wrestler uh, would show maybe different approach in order to get to these techniques the problem isn't the techniques is how to get to them and i would add grip fighting and there you could have like a very minimalist far more graceful judo and no like bear hugs and big uranages or suplexes you would have people getting establishing dominant grip and then applying a wrist twist an iriminage there are throws that are considered dangerous in aikido like the kaitenage and the iriminage it's not all just twisting wrists um, and basically this is when you can have something that actually works now when it comes to the ground i'm a big proponent of just doing the old school neiwaza judo uh, the basic pins and how to escape them and and you can have the suariwaza of judo where you can have the same sparring but walking on your knees as someone establishing a pin that's it uh, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below this is just my two cents on how I would make Aikido work and keep it Aikido as possible is to simply uh, add grip fighting and when it comes to competitions I would just simply allow only Aikido moves no judo moves just the, the throws and the locks uh, allowed in Aikido that way it will keep looking like Aikido it would just have like a judo grip styling but that's it so even the tomiki aikido is a bit strange i find it the lack of uh, contact in order to apply these throws is just doesn't i don't find it completely 100 percent as useful as someone doing grip fighting like judo and really destabilizing someone before uh, throwing them and taking control on the ground so again if you have anything else to add share it down below this was shady and thank you for listening